Hello, today I will showcase how to use texture and shading importance in Simplegon to create more optimized LODs. I will use Unreal Engine 5 for this example, but it should be applicable to any Simplegon integration. In this example, we will optimize a monster asset that will be viewed in a very foggy and dark environment. In this environment, if we zoom out, all that will be seen of it is a dark silhouette. Right now, it already has a LOD recipe with two LODs set up. Simplegon takes various things into account during optimization. Two of these are texture importance. Texture importance control how much texture stretching will be taken into account. Shading importance controls how much changes in normals should be taken into account. This is especially important for shiny and reflective objects. In our case, we will not see any eventual texture stretching when it is far away, because it will be dark, and it's not very shiny either. Thus, we will lower the importance of these values. For LOD1, we set texture importance to 0.5 and shading importance to 0.7. For LOD2, we go down to texture importance of 0.1 and shading importance of 0.4. Then we build new LODs. Since we are using on-screen size as reduction target, lowering the importance of texturing and shading will allow the reducer to perform more collapses for the same target screen size. If we compare the new LODs to the old ones, we can see that we get increased texture stretching. We get, however, lower poly count, especially for LOD 2 when we get almost half of the triangles. If we look inside of the game, we can see no visual difference. That is all for today. For more tips and tricks regarding game optimization with Simplegon, please subscribe to our channel.